are we gonna do? I don't know. I was so worried about you. Like, I was afraid if you died or turned to the ghost side. Like, what happened? Yeah, what happened when you went through that portal? What happened? What happened? Okay, guys, guys, calm down. You okay, though? Yes, don't worry, I'm fine. Uh, but we gotta be careful because Blinky's still making his way throughout the dimensions. Dimensions? You went through more than one portal? Yeah. I mean, I don't really know why there's more than one dimension. So, if you went through more than one portal, or dimensions, as you say, what type of ones did you go through? Well, I went through, like, one where I apparently had arms and legs, and one where I looked like my game self, my video game self to be exact. And I also, oh, I so gotta write this down, where I also had arms and legs. I was just, like, a tad bit different then. And Blinky didn't have, like, fingers or a hand. He just had, like, weird arm stuff, and he was pretty small. <laughs> and I also went through one where it was just all black and white. Black and white? Wouldn't that mean that you went through, like, you know, the 50s? How long did black and white actually stay for? I believe until, um, the 1970s. Oh. Yeah, it was crazy. So... What happened while I was gone? Did you guys really just wait here? Because it's probably been past a day. That's the bad news. Packy. It hasn't been past a day. It's kind of just been past about like six hours. I was able to chomp the ghost, but before I chomped them, they gave us a warning. Warning? Warning about what? We just didn't know because I can't just jump the ghost without you. They said they were going to take over Pack World. What do you mean? They said that before you almost died and went through with that poor old Pac Man over there, they said that they were almost done creating this huge robot that was going to, like, destroy Pack World. We couldn't do it without your help. What? Really? We didn't really want this to happen. We know we couldn't do it on our own. Even though I made that SpongeBob machine, this robot is even but bigger, bigger. It's a ghost robot, and apparently it's bigger than the one that they had before. No, this can't happen. They can't destroy Pack World. Where are you going to live? Pat, you need a leader. What are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. Oh, oh, is it fight back? Yes, but it's going to be tough. I don't know how we're going to pull this off. Just, I don't know. Oh, here we go, then. Guys, I just feel like I'm getting a little too old. Heck, you're not old. Yeah, you're still very young. I mean, you haven't grown a mustache yet. I sometimes grow a beard and I have to shave it. How many times have you almost grown a beard? Well, not fully, but probably about, like, 18 times in my life. But that doesn't really matter. I just feel like I'm out of shape. I really don't know if I can do this or not. I'm 37. I almost died back there. Well, you do realize it was like six or five hours ago, so... The good thing is that you're okay. Hey, hey, listen. Look, a good team leader puts the team ahead of itself. You're doing just that, Pack. <laughs> that Pack. It's something that some of us aren't even capable of. And no one else can ask for anything more than that. Wow. Thanks, Mommy. That was really good advice. Yeah. You're right.
he had to stand for himself. We're gonna make a team together and defeat Mikey and Skill. Together! Let's go! Alright. Teamwork! Say, Bommy, you really made up that speech? Well, I didn't really exactly make it up. I just found off a YouTube video. Okay. <laughs> Where is he? There's nowhere you can hide where I won't find you, Pac-Man! This is a day where we will win the fight. And we're gonna do all that is right.